Alright, welcome back. I tried to do, like, a more interesting intro. It sounded really fucking dumb, so have a nice casual one. So, you will notice, I've, um, changed my armor, got a new shield, and I got a fuck ton of souls. This was not from duping. So, my playtime skyrocketed from, like, three and a half hours, four hours, whatever it was, uh, to about eight, because I've been farming. I was trying to get a guillotine axe, um, we get a guaranteed one later on from Black Phantom Meralda, but I did manage to get this. Now apparently Halberds, well the Halberd and this are noob weapons, but I fucking love, I fucking love these kind of weapons in these games. Like I've said before, Gargoyle, Gargoyle Halberd, Wing Knight Axe, uh, Wing Knight Halberd, favorite weapons pretty much so I've got this to play around with we've also got a few other things to play around with uh, if we go over to Thomas so as you can see I plus read some stuff and I, I was gonna hold off but given the amount of stone of hard and sharp stone I've been getting I was pretty easy to justify doing this because I'd already earned most of it uh, yeah, so, that's cool. Yeah, I got this as well, the Iron Knuckles. I'll probably show them off eventually. Uh, Short Spear, yeah, upgraded from Dreggling Merchant. Wing Spear was on the bridge right at the start of 1-2, where the dragon was, well, being a dick. So, yeah. <laughs> as you can see, I've got a lot of shields. Uh, we already got the Spiked and Positive. Yeah, Spiked was on the bridge as well, but... Yeah, I just didn't, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I haven't used it because, well, it's not really what I need. We are it. Thank you, Thomas. Now, given the amount of souls to God that I earned legitimately, oh. I'm doing this now. The problem is, I can't use it right now. Miracles are the yeah, sure, me. okay, whatever, dude. Yeah, I can't use it because I don't have a talisman of God. Now here's the, here's my predicament. Today we're doing Latria. If I was doing this as a normal, just for fun, casual playthrough, I would go he here and here and do like the first little percent of each level. But given the context of how I'm doing this playthrough, no. We can get a Talisman of God here. And we can get a holy mace here, which is really good against the enemies for here. But again, in the context of this playthrough, uh, that, that ain't happening. So, I trimmed down on my grass's consequence to make this a little more, yeah, have a little more tension. Also, I meant to mention, yeah, I, uh, I learned flame toss. Ugh, excuse me. And I worked out that with the mid, with, with the hammer, Wait, yeah, the mid and hammer, however you pronounce it, whatever. I am just under um, 50%. Catalyst will push me a little higher, but yeah. Main reason we want to go here is A, Sage Freak is here, and B, some armors here. It'll make my life a lot easier, because then I can mix and match a little better than having to wear a plate. Anyway, Latria, here we go. I should have read, yeah, I should have read the description, sorry. Um, if you're wondering, uh, I got my revenge on the Red-Eyed Knight. Um, then the Black Phantom Red-Eyed Knight from the pure black tendency I was farming in, uh, got me. And we went back and forth a few times. I haven't lost any souls yet, which is cool, but, yeah, it was something. Oh, th thank you, Blacksmith, for reminding me. Now, I'm not sure about the 1-2 part of last session, but I know for 2-1 there wasn't a lot of lore and stuff to talk about. Oh, don't worry. There is Thor this place. That is a good message. We will recommend it. 
So I'll have to show off the whole changing tendencies later, but we won't be doing that right now. So I've got the cling and the thief ring on right now. Thief is very handy. For those guys. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. What's in here? Ah, uh, I like you. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, beware the enemy high. It's an enemy stand. Yeah, sure, whatever. Cool. Now, Shard of Archer. Oh, wait, no. Or Guide of Guidance, of course. I haven't showed those off, so let's just pl plop one here. Oh, I should mention, due to my farming run and the fact I haven't been able to use Evacuate, I duped the, arch the Shard of Arch Stones, but I'm limiting myself to one or two on me at all times, as consequence. Um, eventually I just won't need them, because I'll have, um, evacuate, but I've got them for backup, just for, like, really boring moments. Huh, so that's what they're like. Never actually used them. Neat. So, as you can see, uh, Latria sucks. From, not, not from a gameplay perspective. It's a very good level. But, yeah. Be gone. Be gone. That was by accident, for sure. I was looking forward to that. So nice and locked, eh? Cool. So, using this ring, we can do a lot of this. But, uh, let's just duck in here. So, the other day, I came across a cool video called, um... Wait. The fuck was it called? Oh, shit. But it was about Latria. Speaking about Latria, fuck these guys. Uh, bugger. I wish I remembered the exact name because I'd like to plug it. Even though, like most things I plug, it's from a bigger channel than mine. So, uh, hmm. But it was about this world, Latria, being like one of the peaks of what of Miyazaki's work thus far, and about the horror and stuff. But you will find in this level. Hmm. You know, scratch it. It's not uh, it's not very horrific here at all, is it? Nah. Pretty chill, in fact. Pretty chill. So as you can see, this place is pretty big. Oh, there's a light over there. And yes, that is. If you can make that out, that is a person sitting in that cell. That would be Sage Freak, and I can't break that. Now there's not a lot in most of these cells, but. There are some stuff. Like these guys. How much should I do to you? I can't see. Oh, I should also mention, I have farmed a lot of large, a uh, large shards as consequence. But due to how this is going, I'm holding back for a little longer. She has to make sure I, you know, it doesn't look like I'm cheesing the game and making myself too overpowered. Oh, and speaking of which, I didn't show, but. I have not leveled up at all. So, still, soul level 22, and we are staying that way. Until the end of this level, most likely. Alright. Also, yeah, heater shield. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh oh. We're gonna back off a tiny bit. So, something I should have noted. If you recognize that bell sound, yep, that's the one they use for the Chime Maidens in Bloodborne. Apparently, they also use it for a horror game, the second Echo Knight game from Seth Softmate. Oh shit! Well, I can't break it out of this, so I'm interested to know if I live. I live. Oh, I really want to show that attack, but uh, I guess we don't get to. Woof. Yeah. Hmm. That's about right. Maybe the mid and hammer would be better for this. I thought I two-handed, but obviously I did not. Hmm. Let's do this. Because these guys are pretty weak to fire. Or at least fire does a good amount on them. So I won't be diving too deeply into spellcasting in this playthrough, I think. But I'm going to show off some cool stuff. I'm going to try to show off, you know, all spells, all miracles. So we'll see. 
Yeah, you would. Yeah. N not that there's anything wrong with that. Just the, uh, just the message, of course. I don't, I don't know what I expect to... Oh, fuck. Well, that was great. Shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have used that. Oh, well. Hey, buddy. Out my way. Ooh. What do you drop? Moon? Royal Lotus. Good shit. I will be wanting some of those soon. In fact. Hmm. In fact. Given the context. Let's get rid of you. And let's put you here. I should... Oh, yeah. I meant to stock up on some before I came. Well, alas, I did not. This guy's peaceful. All more of a reason to just do this. Silver Coronet. Let's give it a look. Since I'm not using the mid and hammer, might as well whack it on. Alright. So, defense has gone up by two, basically. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry. There we go. A crown wrought from silver. This decorative piece is only given to the famous... The, yeah, the famous magicians of the distinguished... Dis, what? Your Medar family. I don't fucking know. Anyway. It is imbued with a unique spell that increases the bearer's maximum MP. It's alright. Look like a fucking nerd though. It's good for uh, good for spellcasters. The royalty uh, class starts off with it, which makes it pretty cool. Uh oh. Now, problem with these guys is they do this weird praying thing. Oh, you can see another jailer down there. Yeah, I should mention the jailers. And yeah, they're basically mind flayers, aren't they? Hmm. They, uh, they hurt. Um, yeah. Our little praying friends can get in the way quite often, so it's kind of a pain. This is a, this is gonna be a fucking mistake. Oh! Yeah. So. Hmm. Hmm. They have some interesting attacks. Also, I meant to say, but I don't think I did. These are basically, yeah, reused and bloodborne. Just look a little nicer, I guess. Yeah, these guys, as you saw, they have a few attacks. We've seen most of them. They like to paralyze and do that stab with their needle-like protrusion from their mouth, alien style. They have that big... Uh, I don't know what to describe it, that really big attack. If you get caught on caught on the wake up by that, fuck it hurts. Hey, nice, thank you. You haven't seen their soul arrow soul ray. Also, fuck you guys. Oh, fucking goddammit, come on. Spear uses them, alright? Bastards. Alright. Yeah, this ain't working. Okay, we got him. Let's open the door as consequence. Ah, iframe. Suck it. Yeah? Swap into a dagger now, we're closer. So, I don't believe the praying ones will go hostile, but... I seem to recall circumstances where they have stabbed me. Regardless. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. I'll look at that in a sec, by the way. Sorry, I've picked up... Two pieces now. Renowned Soldier's Soul. Alright, Mercury Stone. Three pieces, what am I saying? A shard of melted poisonous ore. Enhances knives, cursed swords, spears, and so on. So, dex weapons, effectively. An ore that applies a strong poison to the weapon. So, yeah, leveled up to five. I don't recall the exact level you've got to get them up to with with sharp stone to, um, to do that. I think it's... Three, I think. I I think that's the case, but yeah, I can't say with all certainty. Yeah, I did this. I'm just making sure I did this. Oh, one thing I should mention. So because I realized, <coughs> excuse me, because I realized I could place messages, I've been screwing around with the wall tendency. Like I mentioned, I was in pure black for uh, farming reasons. Um, but given how the first part turned out, I figured we'll knock it down to neutral. Um, mostly because in pure white you do more damage to enemies while in soul form. And, well, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the case. And well, pure black here is fucked. Very Please fucked. Help me. Yeah, okay, we'll get there. We'll get to you in a second, dude. Ah, there we go. So. Let's see. Yeah. So, plate kind of impedes stamina regen, but not by a lot. Let's check something. So, you'll, you'll notice from that, our crit burden's gone right down. And we've got better defense. So, uh, that's cool. Very cool. Now, let's see. If I swap to the mid and hammer, I have enough. Oh, well, that's cool. So, this is what we are rocking for, like, the next five. Maybe longer. A little longer, depending. Out my way. You gonna drop any of the okay, Widow's Lotus. Did I show off Widow's Lotus? I think I maybe this is the first. Anyway. Crimson flower. A dark flower that floats on water. Removes plague. This flower was fastened to the corpses of those who died of the plague during their burial. But it later became an emblem of the people claimed by the disease. Yeah, so like I was saying, uh, Flake sucks. The status. I like you, Flake of Gripes. You make good shit. You, you make good art. You make good videos. Well, I thought I was blocking. Apparently not. Yeah, Widow's Lotus. Number two. Hmm. I should probably be a little more frugal with my healing, but... Eh, fuck it. Ugh. Yeah, often I'll typically come to Latria immediately because most Mind Flayers w with the Thief Ring are incredibly easy to backstab and you can just run away, hide, and repeat. And most, mostly just because of the armor. Because we get the Wizard's Clothes, which are good uh, lightweight armor. If there's another armor set, we'll get in about five. So yeah, that's pretty handy for starting off nice and early. And that's kind of what made this a real pain. Um, up until this point, because I have to use the heavier ship. Which kind of sucked, but hey. Yep. Anyway. That's, um, that's some good shit. Boy, this shit is creepy. I'd laugh at that, whoop. I'd laugh if that uh, top looked like Eddie the Head. That'd be great. Yeah, so as I was saying, Latria's kind of fucked. I'm not going to really elaborate at this moment because, yeah, I uh, think that speaks for itself. Even though I'm effectively about to elaborate, I guess. So you have... Whoa, that was cool. You have weird mind flare guards. Locked doors too, apparently. That's fucking great. You have... Iron Maidens, people strung up by chains. I'm just fun stuff in general. I like torture devices, eh? Now that's not because he's aggro. That's because a guard, a jailer, just walk, had to walk through some, um, some level clutter. Hey, come here. Can you come a little closer? Look over here. Come on. Come here. It's me. It, it, it's, it's me, sheer heart attack. Get over here. Nope? Okay, fuck you. We'll deal with him in a sec. Now, if I recall... Yeah, that's coming from a different cell. If I recall, there's some guys who are going to want to shank me the second I walk in. Now, as I've said, I own Prison Break the game on 360 because I don't fucking know why. <laughs> uh, I bought it, like, what, last year? So, uh, yeah, this game, yeah, pretty similar, I suppose. This is what Prison Break the game looks like. Just, uh, oh, fuck you. Just less race wars, really. That was fucking weird. Yeah, prison, get, prison Break the game's fucking strange, that's for damn sure. Oh, why do I always forget his name? He's such a good, he's such a good voice actor. Um, guy that did Lee in The Walking Dead. Um, or Wraith King in Dota, yeah, yeah. Well, what am I saying? Skeleton King. Oh, fuck, I always forget his name. 
But uh, yeah, he's in that, so that elevates it a fraction. Oh, thank you. Hmm, fluted night armor, and it dropped uh, dropped that, huh? Weird. Ooh, neat. So we're not re really going to be needing the MP. So, oh, also as you can see, wow, it's lighter and gives us way more defense. So the assassins, we're, we're going to drive it again. The Assassin's Mask. Thin cloth mask, which covers the nose and mouth. Hmm, how topical of late. For thieves and assassins who need the, who need to mask their breath. Either way, it isn't used for good. Till now it ain't. Black leather. Lighter and, well, a little shittier, but not by much. I compared it with it, yeah, compared to plate, yeah, of course. Uh, glossy black leather cloth. Clothes. What am I saying? Fucking Christ. They function as thick skin and offer protection without hindering the wearer's movement. They are especially good at resisting poisons. You'll notice the poison resistance is going up high. There's a reason I'm popping these on. Yeah, this set's weird. It's got a it's got a lot of different descriptions compared to the other stuff. Impe eh, impermeable to water. Dangerous work. Blah blah. That's about the same. Alright, so yeah. Pretty high poison defense. So we got another one of you. I will explain it later. But I'll probably talk about it soonish. Oh fuck. Oh shit. We gotta get the fuck out. Hey buddy. Get, get shit on I guess. <sighs> oh well, let's open this Iron Maiden. Surely nothing will happen. Yeah, I was kind of banking that would happen. Eat shit. So, there's two of these guys in the level. I'm pretty sure there's two. Maybe there's a third, I can't remember. When that guy comes out, he will poison you. Hence why I put on the thief's armor. So that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty handy. That's why I also had these handy. Despite the fact that they are the only enemies that do poison in this level. I should probably be looking at these keys, sorry. Prison Hope. Yeah, they're very similar, these. There's a few that are different. But as you can see, yeah, there are for getting around the prison. So in that video that the name escaped me, oh, also, yeah, he very afraid. Just as, just as a reminder, you can't jump in this game. So, uh, hmm. Even in, I don't think, yeah, I don't think you could make that in Dark Souls. Yeah. Nah, I don't think you could do it. Um, in that video, I keep forgetting, um, the name of. And apparently other words, because I'm being clever. <laughs> anyway, um, in that video, um, apparently... Miyazaki himself um, had a lot to do with the level design of this place. He, uh, it's the one level he designed himself. Apparently all the other levels, and this is how a lot of the Souls development has gone apparently, he describes them to the people who make the assets, oh, backstab, yeah, and lets them do their thing based on their, you know, the imagination and kind of like the picture he paints. This is the one level he made all the geometry to himself. Well, a rudimentary 3D map. So that's pretty rad. It's also why, um, well, you'll see this level kind of differs compared to a lot of others. It's not really, uh, it's not the most ideal place to go, to get around. Once you know the shortcuts, it's not that, it's not too bad, but... It can be a bit of a pain should you die and drop your souls, which could happen to me once or twice. There's a few spots this is likely to occur in. We're in the east fourth floor. We'll get to you in a sec. Got stuff to talk about you. Aha, uh -huh, what's the joke? Come on. Oh, well, no. It's, dude. Dude, reconsider, what do you do? 
I mean, I know what he's doing. He's fighting for Jawa. Okay, phew, good. I thought it was another fucking thrusting attack joke. Anyway. Pardon us. And we don't want you guys to sing, we want her to sing. Oh well, guess we ruined it. Sorry. Hmm. Anyway. We have a friend. You're an ordinary human, aren't you? Where do you call home? Oh, dear me, I shouldn't pry. Oh, perhaps you'd like something from my collection. I've had better days. I was once the wife of royalty. And I have some nice things to show for it. So this is the former royal's wife. Now, the weird thing is... The lady on the archstone uh, looks quite similar to her which I was thinking about about 10 minutes ago thinking I should have shown that off properly before we left now like a lot of people I was in the mindset that she was the queen I'm turning around so I don't hit her by accident I, d I don't fucking trust these controllers um, but yeah she's not so, we'll look at our inventory, then we'll have a chat. So, good stuff, good stuff. These aren't really that useful once you know the game, but for a level like this, I can imagine, yeah, they'd be quite handy. We haven't got any of these, so there's a few guaranteed um, pieces, so, yeah. That's handy. Alright, Moonlight Stone, this is good stuff. A shard of ore, which reflects moonlight, enhances strength leaning weapons and all that applies a strong magical effect can be strengthened to five now from off the top of my head because I, I meant to mention this that's a phrase I use a fuck ton I know um in between the last session and this I started up another character and just gunned it through the game I did quite a bit of duping to get him a high level and I was kind of mucking around with a combo of strength and um of world spells. It's something I like to try in these games. It's actually pretty fun. Now, off the top of my head, from having to use it, I'm pretty sure you have to get weapons to plus six. Could be wrong. There's an alternative to this for dex weapons that we'll find later for Crescent Stone. Uh, yeah, I think it's Crescent, yeah. Or at least it makes Crescent weapons. This weakens... This is basically magic infusion from Dark Souls. Weakens strength and dex gives good in scaling and magic damage as consequence. Anyway, enough of that shit. Rapiers. Pretty handy. We are guaranteed to get one infused with mercury mercury stone rather soon. So, yeah. Wooden catalyst, no need. Buckler. Yeah, pretty handy. I don't remember where we get one. I might buy it eventually, but I think we get a free one. Yes, but I'm pretty sure we get one for free somewhere. Yeah, I don't think we picked one up on the wizard set, but I could be wrong. Anyway, Ring of Avarice. One thing I like about this game is there's a lot of ways to get unique items. There's often two in the world, and in this case, you can buy this from her right now if you have enough souls. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Or you can hang off until the next level. Until 3-2. So Ring of Avarice. A luxurious gold ring. Fitted with a large jewel. It allows its wearer to obtain more souls when slaying enemies. It was once a symbol of wealth and debauchery. So, um, covered a silver serpent, effectively. Anyway. Oh, that was a lot of fucking talking. Let's let her handle the, uh, the talking. Well, I could have phrased that better. Anyway, I'm shutting up for like 10 minutes. Before, there were many others trapped here. But they went mad and ventured above of their own volition. Redemption? <laughs> there exists no such thing. I overestimated the 10 minutes, obviously, but anyway. The Queen banished her depraved old husband from the land. He returned in strange golden garb with foul demons in tow. 
They pillaged Great Latria, land of the learned, and locked us in this dungeon. Since then, they've been feeding off our souls, telling us over and over that if we go above, we will be granted redemption. I know the truth. The church goddess may die, but never for long. And we are trapped below forever. Okay, couple of things to talk about. Let's Redemption. See. Okay, she's yeah. Okay, that's the same thing. Well, that's quite all right. I wish to stay here, but I need souls to stay sane. Surely you must understand this. Okay, first and foremost, let me just check one thing. I do not have a buckler. I'm probably gonna find some. I'm probably gonna find one elsewhere. I've had better days. Okay, same thing. So I'm just gonna fucking buy it now. It'll also change the dialogue, so why not? Thank you. Now I can stay here for a little while longer. Anyway. So, as I was saying, I used to think she was the queen. Given she talks about the queen, um, being a different person altogether, yeah, prob probably not her. The video I keep forgetting about raises a point. As you can see, there's some, um, uh, it's kind of hard to make out. This is when the telescope might have come in handy. She's, uh, had some work done to her face. The jailers have not been kind. Same with the hands. You can see, like, there's some little dots on them or whatnot. But, yeah, um, the video raised that maybe there's been so much torture, she no longer, she counts the queen as a, as, like, a different person. Altogether, like disassociated, I guess is the right term. It is safe here. Anyway, about a dialogue. So, I feel like there's one thing I'm gonna forget, but I'll try try to remember. I'll try to remember the best I can. So, king came back wrapped in gold. There's a story named the king in yellow. Um, very Lovecraft. Is kind of connected to all that stuff. She is a VIP too. Thank you. Oh, so that's a cliff. Well, no shit, we just went there. Holy shit, the message is gone. Yeah, the King Yellow. Um, it's, um, um, it was obviously a point of influence on this. But, yeah. I won't go into the story itself, but... Yeah, King comes back in yellow, and we'll go more into this much later in the game. And has demons. So he found something that gave him the power to make demons. Or at least control them. Again, we'll go into that later. So that tells you how this place got pretty fucked. Old King gets uh, banished by the Queen, shows back up. Ooh, Estoc. Boy, that's a contentious weapon. And has demons in tow. Oh boy, what a king. What a ruler. But yeah. That's the thing. Uh, what else was there? There's that part I'm forgetting. But we'll check the airstock first. Uh-huh. Yeah, narrow range of attack, but deal heavy damage. They work well against metal armor. And hard scales, yeah. Easily parried. And hard time breaking guard. Yes, so we can do this too. Let's just do the standard... So it's a cool stab in this game. You don't quite get the, uh, the Dark Souls slash, but that's fine. A lot of thrusting attacks, as you would expect from a rapier. A thrusting sword. And now I know we get the rapier definitely, like I said, so I'm not buying it as consequence. Now, there's that thing I'm still forgetting, which kind of sucks, and I wish she would repeat a dialogue, but fuck it. Uh, yeah, so this is a dead end. We got the key we required, I believe. So, well, we are out of here. Wait, let's make sure. Talking is making me forget. Oh, thank God. No, no, we need to go this way. What am I fucking saying? Holy shit, that, that'd be incredibly dumb. So, she mentioned there's a goddess in the church below who doesn't stay dead for long. She is referring to the boss of this area named the Fool's Idol. I'm not going to explain the mechanics 
but yeah, we'll be getting to it by the end of this session. I'm thinking I'm just going to do Latria today, and then we'll worry about the other stuff later. Yeah, will he poison us? Yeah, fuck you. This is why I should have kept the black leather on, or more of it at least. As you can see, our poison resistance was lower. Now, he should be the only other one in this area who does that, so let's swap to that. Yeah, cool. Yep, magic resistance and physical is far more useful. Yeah. So, she's actually quite handy with all the, yeah, with all the info. Let's get rid of you for now, we don't need that. Wait, what? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Clever me. Clever me. Anyway. Ooh. Piece of candy. Locked. Oh, wait, no, what I'm saying. You can unlock these two. You can't unlock the next one. Not that there's anything here. Let's read. Yes, they do. Uh huh. What about you? What about the other one? May I? Yeah. I. Ah, you all get likes. It's just, man, it takes a while to do this. Yeah. So this is the guy we could see from over yonder. Well, no shit. Been playing Resident Evil. What a surprise! Oh, human are you? I am Freak. I have been trapped here for ages. Perhaps you could help me get out of here. I am a sage, and I can lend you my power in return. Oh, take heed of those octopus-headed guards. Yeah, your advice would be a little more useful if we hadn't already shanked like five of them, but Perhaps thanks. Perhaps you could help me get out of here. I am a sage, and I can lend you my power in return. Oh, take heed of those... Okay, so we found Freak. I didn't realize they took that much damage. What the fuck? Huh. I did kill the poison, didn't I? What the hell? It must have been from his running attack. Alright, anyway. That was dumb. I meant to go back down. So that's Freak. We found him. Cool. Sorry, I'll, I'll lock you on the way back up, mayhaps. All the way back down if I die like I think I might. Hmm. Yep. Very true. So yeah, Freak. We found him. Cool. We also found some keys. Yeah. So these are for right ahead. That's locked. Now he's just pissed off because like a box got in his way. So you know. The hell does this say? Okay, have a like as well. I'm being generous. Being rather generous today. Hmm. Now we're going to find an interesting enemy downstairs. Not here, but downstairs. Heavy crossbow. Good shit. Let's, uh, we can do this. We should be fast enough. Now, I am holding out to get the secret dagger. Which is, yeah, that's the weapon name. I don't remember exactly where we get it from, but... Yeah, it's, uh, pretty handy. Pretty good for buffing, though, as I've seen in a video of recent. The, uh, how to soul level 1 this game. By breaking all the dumb, all the dumb rules that people make for themselves. Anyway. Secret Dag is pretty rad. It's got a high crit modifier. Which, paired with the Please Fatal Infusion, is fucking me. sick. Yeah, 